Thing and romanticizing, that's just the Lord, that I'm going to tell you how to do it. So start romanticizing this and start forgetting how bad Egypt was. So what God says, I cannot allow them to go too quickly to get where they want to go. Because they'll see trouble and pick up and go back. Our role here, so here's the, the, the if we're going to have a, a sentence to summarize this is, let's celebrate our journey. Let's just celebrate the journey. Right, right now, I, I have prayed, with, prayed for and with everybody in this room. Yes. And I know right now, things are not exactly as you thought they should be and want to be. Yes. What I want to invite you to do is celebrate your journey. Amen. Celebrate your journey. Yeah, praise God for the destination. Praise God when you get there. But let's celebrate the journey. What is God teaching us through the journey? God taught Joseph how to learn the customs of the people. So when he became over the people, he already knew that. He taught them, he taught them. Joseph was, at this point was a shepherd. What is he going to know about war? He's in the house of the person over the defense and learn about war that way. So he's ready to there. Learn about, uh, about the customs of the people in jail. So by the time he gets where he is, he's ready to rule and be second only to Pharaoh in the whole land. But if, we, if he had short-circuited the journey, we would not be reading about him today being a phenomenal leader. Here's the question. Let's celebrate the journey. Sometimes that journey seems long. Everybody here has had a time when you ran out of gas, <laughs> had a flat tire, got lost before the little GPS thing, and sometimes you overrode the GPS. I, don't, I, know, I know better than this GPS. Really? Now, there's always, there, 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 there's, everybody here has had a journey, a, a trip, that turned out to be a trip. <laughs> it took way too long. But what happened in that, that if we, if we are too quick to dismiss, that we learn about the folk we were traveling with, learn about ourselves. Maybe what we learn about ourselves, we need to fill up a gas when we need to take trip. You know, there's something we learned from this trip. Let's start celebrating the journey. We see people who are already where we want to be. And don't think about what happened to get them where they were. Yes. You, you see people already here. See people here and even here. And we have no idea what they had to go through behind the scenes. We'd be surprised at the number of famous actors who were homeless before they made it. Or the number of singers who were in clubs all the time. Whatever, or, or believers. Who now seem to find that they're prosperous, but don't know I, the, the story. The, I remember but he's going to be with the Lord now. I grew up in Memphis, as you know, and so there was a, a wonderful ministry. There's still a wonderful ministry there. Uh, Bishop uh, G. Patterson was there. The Bishop Patterson said he had like five members in Bible study for 25 years. Mm. Then don't let don't let it get cold in Memphis. Then two of them sick, <laughs> they got three. <laughs> Then, don't let it be the threat of snow in Memphis, because snow, they don't have any snow fire. So he says, he and his wife, and one, and one little faithful member who live right next door, <laughs> he was these back for 22 years. When he went to be with the Lord, had 10,000 members. Wow. Everybody remembers the 10,000. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew about the five. Right. So what I'm offering here is that we see where people are and assume they either cheated or they did something wrong to get where they are. We don't know the story behind where they got where they are. But here's, here's the last part we're going to share. But somebody was looking at you and not just knowing your story. Right. You folks and all these other folks, somebody looking at you like, how do you get that job? You know you love to land a job. How do you get that? And so at some point, they don't know the journey. And, 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 and don't you ever let them say you didn't have to go through anything. Oh. Man. <laughs> Lord, oh, man. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> and so that's how people who we think don't go through anything with feel but we say that to them. You didn't have to go through anything in here. So I remember what Pastor Pastor Day's friend told me. You haven't been through anything in your life. This is after she lived in her car for a while. Well, for me, I didn't know what I'm saying. She didn't know what I'm We were in the car together. Didn't know what I'm but I did was in minimizing the journey. This, so take all for tonight. Celebrate the journey. And also let's make sure at this point that we are content with the lot that we are given. We don't have to stay there. We go through the valley. We go through the challenges. But this journey is preparing us for the destination. If we reach the destination too quickly, we may not be able to handle it. 
reach the destination too quickly, we may not have the foundation to sustain it. If the foundation that was laid was for a two-story building, and we try to put ten stories up, it's going to crumble. And sometimes the spiritual foundation is not in place to handle all that comes in place there. And so our role is we want to make sure our foundation is as solid as possible. So however high God wants to build this spiritual building, we can handle it. If he wants to have Empire State Building, but it's just one floor, whatever it is, the foundation is already there. Let's celebrate the journey. God, we bless you for being such a faithful God, a majestic God, and an awesome God. We praise you for who you are and all you are in our lives. We thank you so very much, God, not only for the gift of Uzziah,